Hey guys and welcome back. This is the fourth time, at least three, probably I think fourth time that I have seen this craftsman mower. It is quite a heap. The owner said that he went to wash the bottom off of grass and that uh, it would not start after that. So I say we we have a look. My suspicion is that there's water in the in the uh, gas tank or maybe the air filter got soaked. I'm just gonna pull the air filter off real quick and check that out, see what condition that is in. Oh, that is either water or oil soaked. Not sure which. Actually, it smells like gasoline. Uh, he actually may have tipped it over on the wrong side and the air filter got soaked with gasoline. And uh, when the air filter gets wet like that, uh, it doesn't, uh, the air doesn't flow through it as well. So I'm going to keep the air filter off for the moment and attempt to start it and see what we get. Actually, figure we ought to check the oil, see if there's oil in there. And there is, there is, uh, it's about right and it's fairly clean. So I'm not going to worry about that. Um, this thing ha seems to have a hardware problem or lack thereof. It's missing a number of screws and bolts. Um, so if this thing does start, it's going to vibrate like crazy. But let's see. Let's give it a let's give it a yank and see what happens. She's definitely got a hardware problem. Let me let me go see if I can track down some hardware just so that this thing is not flying apart. Let's start taking some stuff off and see what's missing. So this cover, it's got one screw here. It's kind of loose. And the other one is missing. So let's pull that off like that. We actually don't need that. What? we got over here. Mm. Interesting. It looks like it looks like the cover is cracked. It looks like the yeah this thing isn't being held here anymore. I think the metal broke. Let me get those bolts out and see. Yeah the cover broke. You can see the outline of the of the bolt of the bolt head here. The metal has cracked and broken off both sides. Um, I'm gonna see if I can maybe get a washer and uh, see if that'll help. I'll see if I have any washers about that size. It's also missing a bolt right in there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. And I think it's missing an O-ring for the oil fill tube and I think it's been leaking oil that's what he said so uh, I'll see if I can address those I'll see if I can find a hardware you know a piece of hardware or a bolt for that and an o-ring yeah she's a peach all right I found a bolt and some washers and I also found on my stash a new oil filler tube with an o-ring figure maybe I can just take the o-ring off or replace the whole thing so first thing I'm gonna do is buzz the gas tank loose and that should give me access to the oil filler tube I'm just gonna Bend this back. It's got a full tank of gas, so I don't want the um, hose to pop off or anything. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to buzz the oil filler tube off. So that should release. Huh. Ah, that's not, that doesn't look good. Hmm. It looks like there's a lot of gray material on this. Almost looks like aluminum. Hmm. 
So I was looking at this and I tried the new filler tube and the old one. They're both rather loose in the hole. I think over time that it's been vibrating so much that the actual uh, oil filler hole has <laughs> worn slightly so that the opening is a little bit bigger than it was before. But the o-ring on this is a little bit worn. Um, so I am going to pull that old o-ring off and replace it with the o-ring from the um, other filler tube that I have here. And hopefully that'll, there it goes, seal it well enough. Let me go get that. All right, I got the new old o-ring. Let's stick it on like that. Wipe all the goo off the dipstick. Let's stick her, to, stick her in and see what we get. Mm, still not that tight, but I think it'll, I think it'll do. Yeah, it'll, it'll work well enough. Okay, let me get some of this hardware back in so that this is not rattling around. It's actually missing both bolts, so. There is actually nothing holding this in place, the uh, recoil cover. No wonder it was vibrating like crazy. So I'm going to get these bolts in and get this thing secured. Yeah, so let me, let me work on that and I'll bring you back. All right, that looks good. I don't know how long these washers are gonna hold, but I don't think it's gonna make that big of a difference. Uh, the customer says he's moving in August and he was gonna get a new lawnmower, but he is not anymore. Uh, this new property is going to probably require a riding mower, so he won't, uh, and he doesn't wanna take this with him. So it's probably gonna be in the trash pile uh, in a couple months. So I think it'll hold until then. Uh, basically, he just needs this thing to run for the next two months. So, let's see if we can make that happen. Alright, now that we have solved the hardware problem, let's actually get to the uh, problem that he brought it in for, not running. So, let's give it a few pumps and see if it'll start. starts up fine without the air filter. I'm going to put the air filter back in and see what it does. My guess is that it is not going to start. Let's see. Okay, I have the bale tied back. I'm going to start it and then put the air filter on and see what the RPM does. Yeah, that's it. Needs a new air filter. Well, that was simple. Let me go get one. All right, I got a new air filter here. Let's stick that in. And I think this one will be done. This is all I'm gonna do to this. He doesn't wanna put a lot of money into this because, you know, it's gonna be going to a great lawnmower junkyard in the sky after um, the summer, so. I'm just going to get it to work for the next two months and uh, call it at that. Alright, let's see if that works.
that works. I'm gonna call that, I'm gonna call it here. It definitely needs some other work. One of these wheels is loose. One of these adjusters is loose and rattling, but you know, I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, fine. I'll try and tighten it up. I've had these things stripped before when they get rusted. So, I don't want that to happen. Definitely don't want that to happen. Oh. I think, I think I'm not gonna push my luck anymore. I think that's about to strip, so. Whatever it is, is what it is. Good, I'm satisfied. Incidentally, this happens often when you tilt the lawnmower the wrong way to wash it. Uh, or to get access to the bottom. Um, you always want to tilt the lawnmower so that the air filter is up or the carburetor side is up. You never want to tilt it so it's down because you know all the gas uh, gasoline from the carburetor is going to run into the um, air filter and you may even get oil from the breather tube coming in. So yeah, always tilt it, air filter up. Uh, thanks for joining me on this video. And um, now you can see what happens when you have an oil soaked or gas so smells like gasoline. I think it's a combination of gas and oil soaked air filter. Um, that was the whole cause of our no start con condition. Uh, in addition to a whole, whole bunch of missing hardware, which we took care of, but that was the main culprit. So yeah, keep your air filters clean and I'll see you next time.